friends. Welcome to Get Your Play Online, and my name is Kelly, and for today's Try It Out Tuesday, we'll be making butter in a jar. So for this activity, you're gonna need some heavy whipping cream, and you can find this in almost any grocery store. I got mine from Walmart. You can use a jar or any container with a lid that'll screw on really tightly, and then cheesecloth to drain the butter, or you can also use a strainer. And let's get started. So first, you'll want to remove your lid from your jar, and then take the lid off of your heavy whipping cream and fill your jar about halfway. A little less than half. It depends on how much butter you want to make as well. So we're going to take your lid, and then you'll screw it back on. Make sure it's nice and tight because you don't want to spill milk everywhere. And then you get ready to shake. a pretty big jar but for my friends with really tiny hands you're gonna want to use a small jar and that also changes how long you'll be shaking your butter so I'll start shaking now and then you want to shake for about two minutes for my friends with tiny hands and then for my older friends you want to shake for about five minutes you can shake with two hands one hand but for you, I don't know, you can dance around while you shake you can walk around and shake. Keep a check on your time. So I've been shaking for about 45 seconds. And so as you're shaking, for a lot of dairy products, they're gonna have fat in them. And for heavy cream, it has the most amount of fat of all dairy products. So you have your milk, you have half and half, you have whole milk, and then you have heavy cream, which has the most amount of fat. And so as you're shaking this, your fat molecules, they're all gonna come together. They're gonna clump together really, really, really tight. And they're gonna join in so tight that they squeeze all of the water out which is why you'll have butter and water, which we consider buttermilk in the end. All right. And once you hit about two minutes or five minutes, if you're feeling extra strong, you wanna take off your lid and take a peek. So right now, it looks like whipped cream, but don't taste it. It won't taste like whipped cream because you don't have any sugar in it. But this is what your ice cream looks like when it's in the process of being made. So you're halfway there. So you're gonna put your lid back on tight. You'll shake for a, it'll be a little harder and you'll kind of hear like it's chunks moving around in the jar. That's okay. So what do you think that you'll be eating with your butter? I think I want mine with some toast or you can put it on pancakes, maybe muffins. You can cook some nice veggies with it. You can use this butter for anything. Have you made any fall treats? Any fall desserts maybe? Like pumpkin muffins, pumpkin bread, banana nut bread. That's always really yummy. And don't forget to check out some of our recipes on our Get Your Play Online blog, especially the fall themed recipes that you can pair with some awesome butter that you've made yourself. Shake for about two more minutes, and then you can take a look and see what's happening inside again. So if it sounds like that a really thick chunk is hitting the top of your jar, that means that your butter is starting to form. And right now you can see that my butter and my milk are separated. You can see as I move this jar around, What's in the middle, it isn't splashing around will be the butter. And what you see around it is the buttermilk. Now that I've hit that two minute mark, it's time to separate. So you're gonna take off your top and take a peek at it again and maybe describe what you see. So is your butter chunky? Is it white? Is it kind of yellow? Are there like pieces of butter floating around in your jar or is it one big chunk of butter. What does it smell like? 
You can smell it. Does it smell like milk? You want to make sure it doesn't smell sour like onions. And you can touch it or maybe touch the top of your jar and describe what that feels like. So it should be kind of like slippery like butter. And so now it's time to separate. So this is when your cheesecloth or if you have a metal strainer or any form of a strainer, you can use maybe a plastic bag, poke holes in it, a coffee filter, paper towel. But this is when your second container will come in handy. So for this container, you could put your butter in it or this could be for your buttermilk. I want to put my buttermilk in mine. Hold my cheesecloth over my jar and hold it really tight to make sure I don't spill any. And then I'm going to pour my buttermilk that I have into my second container. And this might take a little while. So buttermilk is, you could use that for any recipe that you'd like too. So now you've made two things out of your heavy whipping cream. You can use buttermilk for pancakes, for baking cakes. Maybe take the time, you can look at your butter inside of your cheesecloth. Wow, this made a lot. It's a nice ball of butter. And squeeze it very gently to get any of the excess or the extra buttermilk out, but you don't want to squeeze too hard because then the butter will come through the cloth. Squeeze it very gently. Now that I've separated my buttermilk from my butter, I'll be putting it back into the jar that I made it in, or you can put it into another container. Whatever works best for you. So if you like, you could either save your cheesecloth and wash it, or you can throw it away. So if you like your butter sort of sweet, you could add cinnamon, or some honey or even sugar like brown sugar to your butter you can add any herbs that you like any salts or peppers you can make your butter however you want it however you think that you'll use it i'm going to store mine in this jar inside of my fridge for a few days so now we get to clean up so as we're cleaning you can keep or you can get rid of your buttermilk i think that i'll save mine I'm gonna put the lid on this jar too and put them both in my fridge. If you spilled anything, that's okay. Now is a good time for us to clean up. So thank you for joining me today on this Try It Out Tuesday and making butter in a jar with me. I hope that you enjoy your butter with your fall desserts or fall favorites and can't wait to see you next time. Bye!